What's going on, y'all? Lubu, cooking with Lubu. We got uh, Graves Street Justice Southern Fried White Pepper Gravy Chicken Sandwich. It's a mouthful. It's a lot of words and it's a lot of food. Uh, what we want to show you first is the ingredients that go into the gravy. Uh, I'm a southerner. Uh, a lot of my food is southern style uh, from the way I was raised. And so it's important to know that when we make gravy, when I make gravy, I make gravy from scratch. I don't make any gravy out of a pouch. You, know, you don't need a pouch. It's easy, man. It's, it's, it's flour, it's butter, salt, pepper, and some milk. And that's it. That's all you need. Salt, pepper, flour, butter, milk. Five ingredients in a big ass skillet like that. And you can make gravy like I make gravy. Delicious ass pepper sausage gravy. Just like that. And that's my crock pot because we've been burning through it. It's almost empty. We're going to use the last of it for this uh, here video shoot. Get y'all working on this. So we got some uh, chicken patties. Those are fried chicken patties. Uh, I cooked these up a little earlier. I'm just going to warm them up real quick. All those warm up. We'll take my English muffin. I buttered this here English muffin. We'll take that. Put that on the panini press. We'll take two strips of bacon. Put that on there. Close that up. That's going to start cooking. Uh, so all that's going to come together at roughly the same amount of time, uh, which is exactly what we want. Uh, yeah, and that's really what it's, what it's all about, is, is you're making comfort food. Uh, you're making the, 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 the white pepper gravy goes way back, way back to like Cowboys and Indians type time. Uh, I think it was, in other words, sawmill gravy or something like that. Uh, it's old school stuff, uh, and it's real easy to make. So the people who were out and about in the woods or whatever can make it real easy without having to need a whole mess of ingredients or have to work on a whole lot of shit. Um, yeah, and while that cooks up, let's, uh, let's just run it. Let's go. Good to you. Want to talk? I'm going to let Nate talk. Nate's uh, my bar manager. Uh, I'm the kitchen manager. So the, the gravy he's talking about, this starts from the French version of this gravy, which is one of the five mother sauces, starting from a root. Wow. So when, when he's talking about you're just using these simple ingredients, you're really just starting with your butter. You're, you're melting your butter down. You're adding your flour, which makes your roux. That's how you start any gravy, any, any thick white sauce. You're letting that roux start caramelize a little bit. You're adding the milk. You're adding the pepper. You're adding the salt, and you're done. You're just doing salt and pepper to, to, to taste. There's no measurements here. But that's the uh, culinarian side of, of this southern style gravy. Yeah. My grandma did the same gravy for years. Good stuff. Yeah. So that's just a little uh, a little more in-depth. Nate knows what he's talking about. <laughs> I have a problem uh, using words that don't have four letters in them. <laughs> so, we're going to do a quick walk around. I'm going to show you guys what this place looks like with the lights up just so you get an idea. So you're in a kitchen. The kitchen is about the size of a men's room. It's very small. I do a lot of work in there though. Uh, we got the bar back here. Uh, we got gunner. We got our coolers. Beer on tap. We got we got <laughs> nine beers on tap. Eight, eight, nine. Eight. Escaton, Fu Man Brew, Yellow Pills, Yingling, Guinness, Chocolate Stout. We try to do a lot of local beer. Ten beers. We got state of the art computers. They're turned off right now, but we got uh, twelve total computers. They run everything from Skyrim with the HD graphics pack on them, uh, full HD resolution, the whole nine yards. We got Super Nintendo, we got PS3, Xbox, swag out the fucking box. I got the Diablo 3 pop-ups, GameStop loves us. We're building a main cabinet over here. We're gonna have all sorts of arcade games, stool sticks, eight buttons. We got our big screens, big screens with Xboxes, Wii's, PlayStation 3s. We got our Collector's Edition mantle, which is real nice. Our Collector's Edition mantle is kind of uh, taller. It's really dark. You can't see a goddamn oh, you thing. You can't see anything in there? Ah. Elder Scrolls Dragon, Hellgast, Master Chief with a mustache. Food's ready because the oven's beeping, so let's go check that out. I just wanted to show y'all what we look like during the lights on time. <laughs> so, yeah, back in the kitchen. Great, grab chicken. Kitchen, grab chicken, grab chicken. I think it was muffin, nice and, look at that, look at that crispy ass, delicious butter. Muffin, god damn, son. Got some crispy bacon right here. I'm gonna dress this up the way I like. 
Boom, chicken patty on that. Come over here. Stir that up a little bit. Gravy. Gravy. That's not enough gravy. You need more gravy. Gravy. I know Mike Lego likes gravy because he likes poutine. I was thinking about making poutine, but that's French. I make Southern, not French. Nate can make French food. Boom, so I got gravy. I got bacon. Bacon one. Bacon two. You can add as much bacon as you like. Bacon is bacon. Boom, another chicken patty. Ah, oh, English muffin top. I'll take a skewer, like like Jarvin the Fourth. I just skewer it. Oh, Dunk Master. That's it. That's ready to eat. That's delicious. The gravy took us about maybe 10 minutes to make. You can you can bread a chicken breast in like five minutes, throw that in the oven, you can bake it. English muffins you can buy. You ain't even got to bake an English muffin, man. You can buy that shit pre made. You got your sandwich right there. Hello. Y'all have a good night. I'm on Owens Lubu, Nate, Battle and Brew, Atlanta, Georgia. All day, every day.